Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 86, Football Manager 19. We're playing with West Brom, and we are in the Premier League. Uh, so, still working to get up to the game. Uh, just kind of started it a little early so we could talk a little bit. So, I got an email that the takeover bid had collapsed. He's got a virus. Yeah, let's send him home. Um, but then I just, that was a couple of weeks ago, and then I just got another email that the talks were back on, there was a potential breakthrough and something could be announced in the next couple of days, so interesting. Um, so that is going on, and I'm just trying to get up to the, to the game day here. Um. We've been on a bad run of form lately. We'll take a look at the games here in just a second. Um, Chelsea. Remember uh, last time we played, Chelsea had lost three of four and had dropped to mid-table. They've been evidently on good form, and they have vaulted back uh, into the top portion of the league. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, let's see. I'm letting this guy go. That's not our guy. Yeah, we're not being very active in, in, I'm still scouting, but I'm not actively looking to do anything just because I still think at this point we are still a selling club. You know, if we get players that develop, you know, if, if the Man Cities come in with, with big offers, big money offers, I don't think we have the finances to say no to those. Um, nobody's doing that right now, but let's take a quick look. So we left off with I think it was Chelsea and well hell, I don't remember. Was it Rapid Wine? And Crystal Palace, I think. I think that was what it was. So um, let's see. Yeah, I think we. I think that was the last episode. Uh, we played Liverpool. We lost three to one. Chikwuma scored on a penalty. Um, just not even in this one. So we lost three of four. Had to have a team meeting at that point. Uh, we played Hertha with a rotated squad. We won three nil. Bosdag against his old club with a brace. Franeschini got a goal. Then we got stunned by Norwich. Uh, Chikwuma scored in the 69th minute uh, to equalize. They got one a few minutes later. And so then we played Wolves. I played a different tactic, the 4-1, 4-1, with the uh, defensive mid that we played last season. And uh, we won 5-0. So I was happy with that. Um, oh, I guess I need to click on it, huh? Danny Olmo with a brace, Matt Ingram scored, uh, Othman El Amrani scored, and Chikwuma scored a late goal as well. And then we played a heavily rotated squad against Kilmarnock. We had our, we've already clinched first, and so uh, we had a 1-1 draw. Brendan Taylor got a rare start, scored a goal. Stefan Robertson got a late equalizer. And what was interesting about that, so we were getting $666,000, I think it is, for the wins. We only got $222,000 for the draw. But then after, because that was the last match of group stage, then we got like another $222,000. So something I didn't know, and you guys probably do, but in the group stage, if you have a draw, you get less money than if you get a win, more money if, than if you get a loss. But they take that difference from the 222 to the 666,000, and they put that in a pool, and then that pool is then divvied up between the four clubs based on a win total. So. Whoever has the most wins gets the highest percentage. So we picked up 222,000 out of the, you know, whatever was in the kitty. So that was kind of cool. 
Anyway, we're back for Man United and then a televised game against Villa. Uh, home game against United, road game against Villa. And we are sitting seventh, 27 points out of 15 matches. And uh, right behind United, and if we take a look, Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham, Man City, Chelsea, Man United, uh, the top six are back in their normal positions. Uh, we have fallen off. Chelsea's gone on a nice run. They had lost uh, those three out of four. And then they've gone on a run, an unbeaten run, I think. Um, and, uh, yeah, so anyway, we're we're just hoping to hold on here. Uh, Crystal Palace is right behind us. And then, of course, we qualified out of uh, Europa League, so we'll be moving in. We have not drawn the next match yet, so nothing to look at there. We did draw the FA Cup. We open up with Forest Green, so we'll be taking a look at that. Too bad they wanted us to reach the fourth round and we had to play Chelsea. <laughs> All right, so uh, Man United pretty much owns us. We're underdogs at home. I want to try something a little different. So this is this is the tactic we've been playing most of this season. It's pretty much the same as this tactic, except moving our defensive mids up into central mid rolls. I've been playing this one a lot. El Amrani, uh, wing back attack. I need to send, train him at that. Wing back left, attack. Oh, no, no. Defender left, wing back, attack. Yeah, there we go. Everybody else is all right. Taylor, wide midfielder, right, attack. Wide midfielder, attack. Yep, there we go. Just trying to train some of these younger guys in their positions that we want them playing. Uh, so, oh, what was I? Sorry about that. We need to go back to here. Uh, and then this is the tactic that we had been playing last season that I, I haven't really had success this year with only one up top. And then when we were favored, we'd move them up to a number 10. When we were underdogs, we'd drop back a defensive mid and play a little bit stronger in the back back line. So I think we're going to go with this today because we're an underdog. This is the one that I did use. And according to the green-red squares, we actually match up pretty good. Um, lost possession. Opposition goals from shots in the penalty area. You would figure with support, support, stoppers, and a defender there that we wouldn't have that issue, but oh well. Uh, Franashini is going to be up top. Bosdag on the bench as well as Chick Wuma. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't really need both of those guys. So let's see, we've got mid-center, mid-center, mid-right, defensive right. Do I have a defensive center guy? Garcia, Coleman, uh, Declan Rice. Let's go ahead and bring Rice on for Bosdag on the bench. There he is. And... Let's see, so defensive center, mid-center, mid-right, and Robinson's playing, which is good. He's been hurt a good bit, but he's a he's a young player. I, I think he's got some ability, but I would certainly like mid-center. Yeah, I want Chikwuma up there. Let's take Craddock off and put um, Danny. No, Danny needs a rest. That's why he's not starting. Uh, Joe Riley, mid-right, defensive right-left. 
11, 12, and Strobel. Jan Lowe is not registered. Esteban is injured. I do have him mid center, mid right. He's injured, mid right center. Do I maybe bring him on? Bosdag. Oh, there's a mid left. We could bring on uh, Hofton. Yeah, let's do that. I like it. Cool deal. Yes, Robinson's coming off a couple of back-to-back -back injuries. Not much I can do about that. Do this for the fans. They'd like to see us beat the Dirty Reds, Red Devils, at least once, right? I remember last year when I was playing with Leeds and we got promoted to the Premier and man we lost buku games oh shoot it yes henrik walter his first goal of the season sends us up early get in boys um oh it was it, it had to have been 10 between 10 and 20 matches that we lost consecutive you know lost or drawed consecutively without a win and then when we finally started winning you know then we went on a big dominating run all right we're settling in we're holding them off playing well i'm gonna praise them good job playing okay walter's playing that eight one they're going more attacking Good, let's just get to the half. I'll be happy with a 1-0 halftime lead. Very nice. That's big. That puts us up in the sixth position over them. Nice. They've got the goal, adv goal advantage, but, you know, I'd rather have the points than the goals. Now, they have come back with shots, and they are possessing the ball well. Uh, excellent effort, boys. No yellow cards, knock on wood, but I'm not going to do that because... You guys know from experience when I knock on the desk, the dogs freak out thinking somebody's at the door. <laughs> uh, I'm let's see, Declan. Oh, I put him. Oh, he needed a rest big time. Oh, that was stupid. I didn't even notice that. Uh, cancel. Yeah, keep it up. All right, Caputo, out wide to Niambi, up to Matt Ingram. Oh, he lumps it. Oh, it does not get over. Harris controls it. Sinclair. Play it outside. Robinson. Oh, Robinson with a nice touch into the center. Shot from range. Oh, off the woodwork. It dribbled around the keeper's feet for a second. Just to make it exciting. Uh, we are going to... Uh, Praise again, and then we're going to make a sub here. <sighs> Strobel. Strobel has been running out of gas pretty quickly. <sighs> okay, let me let me think about what I want to do here. Sinclair. He's got pace. He's got passing ability. Marking, tackling. I think I'm going to bring Sinclair back to the DM. And then we will bring in, uh, let's, Adam Mason. Really? One of our youngsters? No pace at all. Yeah, he's pretty shit. Not sure I want him playing. <laughs> We're just wiped out. We just don't have many people that can play up there. Uh, Mid-center. Um, yeah. I mean, it doesn't do me any good to pull off a 73 for a 71. That's that's uh, not going to help me. All right, we'll just go with that. We may just uh, end up making two subs this match. Disappointing. Tell you what, I'm going to go back to a positive stance. Hate to change that just because I never know what it'll do. All right, there's Strobel. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and pull him for 
Declan, Declan can pay, play 12 minutes. Let's do that. And then Coleman. Ooh, that's not good. Um, dum, 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 defensive right. Let's go ahead and move Niambi. What did I just do? Niambi into the center for Coleman, and then Coleman out for Perry. Yep, there we go. Oh, and then, of course, we pick up a slight injury as soon as I make my final sub. Jesus. All right, uh, tactics. Don't normally mess with this stuff, but um, in possession. Time wasting. Let's go significantly. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Confirm. Thank you. All right, Perry dribbles it up, lumps it forward. Franashini on a run. Oh, uh, he's hobbled though. Into the box. Cross the face of the goal sets up a corner. Very good. Come on. Oh, time wasting. Look at that. Ah, you got to like that. They're going to blow the whistle, huh? Oh, we didn't even see the corner. Hmm. I can make a sub. I only made two. Oh, okay. Did I? Yeah, let's do that. That'll be a good time wasting sub. Full time. That's a huge win, man. Our first win ever against United. Hello. Good job, boys. Jumps us up into sixth position. You know, we're still definitely not on the on par with these with these clubs, but the fact that we can beat them every once in a while, we can compete with them. That is huge. All right, let's see how uh Franashini, one to three days. Okay, he'll be he'll be fine. Wal uh, Henrik Walter, one goal, six headers. I'm gonna sixty percent. I'm gonna say his passing was good. I liked his seventy percent passing. All right, well we'll be back for Aston Villa in just a second. Well, we're back for the draw, so we still have a little a few days to go before the match. But I, you know, I wanted to come do the draw, so let's take a look. This is Europa League. So, Feyenoord, just trying to see where we end up, huh? A lot of Scottish teams in there, huh? Spartak Moscow. Oh, there we are. We're, we're on the board now. Oh, Real Sociedad from Spain. They are in La Liga. Oh, no. And they're fifth. That's going to be a tough one. That's going to be a tough one for us. Shakhtar, Roma, uh, Schalke, and Man City. Why couldn't we have had, like, that one? That would probably be a hard one. I don't know. You know, Kiev, I think I've heard of. Port Porto? Not sure. Um... And then, of course, Zenit and Olympique Lyon. All right, well, that's who we grab in uh, the first knockout round, February 8th. So we're a couple of months away from that. Three matches immediately rearranged, so cool. Which looks like we got quite a few guys coming back from uh, into, into fitness. Uh, so let's see. All right, we've been on a pretty decent run with Villa, I think. We are favored. We're on the road. This is one where I kind of maybe overthink, but because it's wet, but mainly because it's gusty, I kind of like a little more defensive. Now, let's see. If I go our top 11, Strobel. Now, Strobel, if 
I move him up to a Segundo Volante rather than an anchor, okay, he's training. Um, our starting left back was injured once again. That would be, um, where is he at? Walter. Walter is injured. So he is out. A lot of injuries, man. A lot of injuries. He's wanted. We have him listed. Somebody make an offer on him, dudes. All right. I think we'll go with that. Chikwuma, Franashini up top. Come on, boys. Need another big win. Do it for the fans once again. Casper Dolberg, man. That was always a guy I wanted to get in FM 18 and could never get him. Uh, he was always too expensive for the clubs that I was playing with. And the way that I do mine is I actually wait for my scouts to bring somebody to my attention. So he's a player that just, you know, in scouting England came up quite a bit as somebody that might be in my range. But could never afford him. Oh, nice tackle. Oh, Knight picks it back up. You know, if that was their team, of course, you know that would have went right to their player. There's a few little bugs in this game. I, I don't know if they're bugs, but, you know, the thing where on their side they can head it to their own teammate or they chest it down and control the ball. For the human control team, they always do a power header just to head it as far as they can, and it always goes to the other team. We're going to demand more off of that. Yeah, that's not what I had in mind. Not a big Aston Villa fan. Not after uh, crap with Leeds this year. Danny Olmo plays it through Chikwuma. Ah, he had a runner, but there were two defenders over there. Probably made the right call. Lumped into the box, and I have no idea what happened. Oh, uh, Joe Gomez. Yeah, I don't need Aston Villa's stats. I don't know why this doesn't rotate like it's supposed to. Seems very strange. All right, uh, encourage. That's a guy that I hate. Jack Grealish, punk. Falls down faster than a girl on prom night. Not all of them. Not all of them. Uh, yes, disappointing. But he, he's, he's a Nancy boy. He falls down fast and just... Always, always, you know, diver extraordinaire. Uh, I, th I think that's, I think that's one of the things that keeps the sport from becoming popular, uh, as popular in America, is the diving. Um, just, uh, I mean, look at that. He had a, he had a teammate right here, but he heads it as hard as he can, back to the midline, right to the other team. Good run in by Knight. Good defense by Danny Olmo. Lumped forward, Chikwuma. Good touch to Franashini. He's got runners both ways. Played out to Nyambi on the overlap. Crossed in. Header. Ugh. And of course, you know, our guy can't get, get a foot on the ball. Had that been reversed, you know, two of their players would have rushed in there to tap it in. Okay, pause. Tactics. I'm going to change to that. And then we're going to go back to that. We're going to do that. Wide of the mark. 
And as soon as the changes take place, we will make our subs. Chikwuma's on a yellow and not playing well, so we're going to bring Bozdag on for him. Hmm. Niambi. Sinclair. Both of these guys can play... center he can play left Ingram's the only one that can play right I'm going to put uh, mid right Brendan Taylor let's go ahead and put him in for Ingram push forward Oh, headed high by Coleman. We're not doing badly. Six long shots to zero. I mean, three chances for us and we haven't put anything in the net. Demand more. Let's put him in for... Strobel. All right, we got to do it right, uh, right here. And look at that, Jesus! All right, intercepted. Danny Olmo. Look right to their own team when they hit the ball. He looked like a freaking shock absorber. Kaponk, kaponk. <laughs> That was oh my god okay well one time they do it and make me look like a liar oh uh, that was because there was no time there was no reason to head it forward <sighs> shit well I'm gonna say that was uh yeah disappointing disappointing yeah missed chances. Absolutely de delighted beating our bitter rivals. Yeah, whatever. Got two words for you. So yeah, we're we're in yeah, as good as our form was up here. We've been in pretty bad form since. I mean, that's what one, two, three, four, five losses in ten. That's not good. Uh, we drew Forest Green. Uh, we saw that just a minute ago in the uh, FA Cup. Oh, no, no, no. I take that back. Uh, we, uh, we we drew Forest Green. We did not see that. Uh, Real Sociedad uh, up in February for the first leg for the uh, knockout. So that's going to be good. Where do we come back at here? Competition-wise, we're in sixth. Again, cracking the top six is the difficult part. Right now, we're above United by three points. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, man. Ouch. All right, um, so yeah, I think we go ahead and make a run here. Let's go ahead and work towards getting to Europa League. Let's come back for Leicester and the first leg of uh, Real Sociedad. Then we may come back for the second leg in West Ham real quick back-to-backs. Uh, but that gives us a good run through the Premier. We've got uh, Arsenal, Man City, Tottenham. So we've got three tough matches, and then the rest should be winnable or manageable. So if we can go with three losses and, the, and pulling points out of the rest, I think we'll be okay. Uh, but yeah, let's come back for Leicester and Sociedad. 
And that will also get us through the transfer window as well. We can take a look at transfers. So guys, pound the like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.